What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the new 30 gallon saltwater storage barrel I have here on the frag system. Now I went ahead and picked this barrel up at the local tractor supply for about 130 to 150 bucks. I don't remember exactly what it was. It's definitely really expensive considering the fact I got this 175 gallon at a local chemtainer factory for just a little bit more than that. Now, of course, the big container here is for RODI, which supplies all the ATOs and the saltwater mixing station. But I needed something that could hold just saltwater for the frag tank. Now, I have, I have a pump in there that just kicks on every few hours to mix the salt around. It's not heated, and basically it goes down into the sump when needed. Now, why would I need to have saltwater storage? Well, I ship coral out of both, or both of these tanks, all four of these tanks on a daily basis. And I always kept salt water in that 55 gallon that I have here in the corner. And basically it was just kind of a pain to always keep it in there. It evaporated and then the salinity changed. It was just not worth the uh, trouble. So I decided to go ahead and get that uh, barrel, which is very simple. It just holds uh, 30 gallons and it has a tight lid on the top there. And then of course I can just turn the valve when I want water to go down into the sump. It's very easy, so when I'm shipping out coral, I just turn off the ATO. I do, it's probably not gonna be, probably not gonna be able to see it, but I have a line here, basically just to tell me where the water level is since my sensor is behind the two part. So basically when I'm shipping coral, the ATO is off. I wait until I'm completely done, and then I just go ahead and turn the valve until it fills back up to the line, and then go about my day. Uh, it's a lot easier than always having to keep water in that blue barrel. And, or just having the ATO top off. For a while there, because I wasn't getting a ton of orders, I was always letting the ATO top off and just keeping an eye on the salinity. But it got to the point where I was pulling out a lot of water and that ATO, after a couple days, it just made the salinity go down. And then you guys know what happens when salinity plummets in a system like this. So it's a, a very easy setup. It actually came with the bulkhead already intact. It's a three quarter inch uh, screw there. So I just went and got the fittings at Home Depot. Of course made the turn. And I'll show you guys, we'll go ahead and turn it real quick. It's only open a little bit there. You guys can see it just goes direct in there. So I'm gonna be shipping coral a little bit later so it actually works out that it's topping off now. It's not gonna make a difference. So when I'm all set, just go ahead and turn it off. It's good to go. Now, you guys might be thinking, wow, that's about 300 pounds worth of weight on top of this stand. Now it is supported, had no issues with it. I wanted to make sure at least the majority of the weight was uh, on a beam or a piece of wood or two by four, whatever you want to call it. So it's definitely supported. There's no issues with it. And I really only go up to about 25 to 30 gallons. I don't really go all the way up. Um, it looks like it does go to 35, so I stand corrected on that. It does go all the way up to 35. I don't ever go that high. Um, this 30 gallons, 25 gallons last me a couple weeks, so it's not a, it's not a big deal. So yeah, it works out great. It's kind of just one of those things that I, I felt that I really needed and uh, the sales justified it. The support you guys have for the channel is kind of just crazy now that I th you know I just step back and think about it. So, um, with all the sales that came in, it was just a really good purchase. Granted, 130 to 150 dollars for a barrel is it's really hard to justify unless you absolutely need it. And I think it's been a really good addition to the frag system. Now, uh, that's about it for the video. Uh, you guys, 300 is going to be blue. It's doing really, really well. The frag tank is doing well with those four AI primes. I'm going to uh, do a video on that tank soon. You guys see I added a shelf above there. You guys, if you've been here for a while, you know that um, my kids, when I had the old frag system there, they flushed the toilet, they stuffed their toys down there and it overflowed and water got into there. Well, that's one of the reasons why I added this uh, very, very expensive piece of wood because if water was to ever come down for whatever reason, it would never get into the frag tank. Uh, it's not to say it won't get into all my electric my electrical stuff but at least it won't get into the frag tank so yep that's about it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you wednesday with another one all right peace